It's Mini Me Day, it's Mini Me Day. I'm all naked and ready to play. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Okay. So I got my Manny and Me finally. Um, I know I'm just being dramatic and probably just ridiculous, but it just seems really late in the month to get this. I swear I usually get it within the first week of the month or maybe within the first seven to ten days and that's what I don't even know what today is 15th 16th I don't know but it seems really late in the month to me are they holding my box because I give them such bad reviews all the time because <laughs> I give them a hard time about their stamping polishes not being opaque I don't know here's what I've got this month and let's take a look at this and I'm so excited um, this this box is right up my alley. The colors, the plates, all of it. Highly pigmented polish colors. I don't know that they've said that before, but I don't really read these cards that closely. But <laughs> good, good. You know, start stepping up your game, Maniology, because I have got so many stamping polishes that are opaque and perfect. And yours just keep getting worse and worse. I don't understand why, you know, some of these, if, if it says it's a stamping polish, by gosh, be a stamping polish. I love this. I This uh, mosaic is me, the tile. It, it's, I know there's some other plates like um, these kitchen tile plates that are kind of similar. Um, here's another one with that has similar, but I love that. I love that kind of style. I love that kind of image. All right, I've gone on for three minutes. Shut up, Guileen. All right, so let's check out what else we have. Um, I mean, come on. Where's my candy? I think they've just stopped sending the pineapples now. I don't know, but even though I've given up sugar and I'm not eating them, they're awesome currency to make my son do things because he gets the pineapple. I mean, it's jobs that he would have to do anyway, but he doesn't mind too much if he's getting a pineapple. <laughs> um, oh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. <laughs> I'm Gailene. Um, I post videos pretty much whenever I want to, so a schedule, no, but um, for sure hit the bell down there so you get notifications. And right now, Subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Let's see how many thumbs up we can actually get on a video because I don't really usually get a whole lot. Why are they that bad? And this video is actually a special one because I meant to do this last week and I'm sorry, I just forgot actually. Um, I have two of these French tip a pas dans ma French plates from Maniology. Um, they were sold out for quite a while and as soon as they got them back in stock I purchased two and use my link Guileen325 for 10% off and I will be able to continue getting things to give away. <laughs> um, so these French tip manicure plates are going to be given away one in the United States one international so um, I don't know give me a thumbs up and there better be the same amount of thumbs up down there or there are comments or I don't know there'll be repercussions just comment that you want to be entered and that if you're US or international down below alrighty here are the two plates and they are pretty ones. Um, lots of ways to layer. And when you're layering, always remember the one that has the most negative space is going to be first. And then the other one you're going to go on top of. And then these are super cute. I love these little frames that you can put different ones in. Um, I don't know. This would probably maybe fit in that one. But that is adorable. Uh, this one, you're going to stamp this and then this. 
Same with these, all these little frames, and then this and then this one. I really like those too. I love these. So pretty. Even on little tiny nails, um, little short nails, all kinds of things you can do. Super cute. And here are the two polishes, Shangri-La and Terracotta Rose. And then we have some Luster, which is like, the only kind I've ever seen like this, it is super fine and like flies everywhere. Oh, this is like a huge clump. So it's like a sheet they've shoved in there. Okay. So that's a lot. And it's, okay, it's a little flighty. I'll just leave that out. It's a little flighty, but it's not really um, as thin as I was expecting. It's not quite what I was expecting, I guess. Yeah, it, um, I mean, it tears easy, it breaks up easy. I, you could actually put this out flat, I think, and cover your whole nail with it. But I'm going to, like, crumple it up in some little pieces here. And there's silver and gold, so one side silver, one side's gold. I'm going to be blowing on this. It's going to be blowing everywhere. All right. Let's put that aside and swatch these polishes on the caps. Uh, I did start with some Hit the Bottle Keeping It Peel, Peel Off Base Coat. And I actually did put some sticky base coat over the top of these caps because sometimes, you know, I want you to see the image first. It doesn't want to stick, you know, to the paper on the lid. And I've got my little Vaniology sticky pad here. Clean my stamper head. I'm gonna use an ice cube stamper. You use whatever stamper you want. I'm gonna be layering, so I like that because I can keep it lined up right. I guess that's not too bad. We'll see how it, they swatch over each other. This one, just painting it on, I can see that it's much more opaque. Yeah. Well, that is lovely. And I love this color. I mean, I like both these colors. Now, it changes colors over the black. Do you see how, I mean, I'm also gonna throw into the mix this coconut as like a background color. And let's just see what they look like straight on my nail. very pretty color yeah I just blew on my nails and blew half that foil away yeah we knew it was gonna happen Guileen very nice one coat I'm using uh, Unfrogettable from Rivet Stickets, and it is a cuticle cover and a peel off base coat for us swatchy swatchers that have to change polish every five seconds. I'm gonna put some sticky base coat on a couple of nails because I'm gonna put this gold stuff on first. Right, so I just licked the brush <laughs> to pick these up and put them on my nails. You can do it however you want to. Tweezers. 
and then just kind of brush it off off the little excess flighties I did end up taking that off of my nails because I don't know that was just wasn't vibing with what I was wanting to do so here's the coconut and I did give this a knock a few months ago when I got it because it wasn't opaque and I was hoping that after sitting and shaking again for a couple months you know it would help because sometimes it does but you can see the terracotta through it now let's see the green that looks pretty um, always make sure you pick up the whole image and you can see the little grooves so you're lining up the very top of the image and it makes it a little easier to place when you're doing layers like this and again you can still it's transparent you can still see through the green to the terracotta the base is shining through that's not a stamping polish well cat you should be happy snarky guy lanes out all right this is hit the bottle polish it's called a uh, whiskey latte and look it's opaque I swear many ology isn't gonna let me have my box next month until like I'm, I'm at the bottom of the list I just got knocked down all the way to the bottom of the list I'm joking okay now let's see what this looks like I mean darker colors should show up better over lighter colors right no and here is the terracotta over so you can see just it no so I've resorted to doing a decal so that I could get full opacity from this polish and I don't know you guys am I being too hard am I just being too picky I mean the point of a layering plate is so that you don't need to do this you layer the polishes on top of each other and when two polishes come in the same kit they should both stamp and they should both stamp over each other not just a beige or a white I mean if my nails were painted beige or white solid and I stamped these polishes over that I think they would show up fine and they would be crisp and clear that's not the issue they are picking up and they are stamping they're transferring from the stamper to the nail the issue is once again they're not opaque enough to stamp straight to the nail on you know other than a white or a beige base so you can see it makes it look blurry that one fingernail there the giving me the finger the <laughs> middle left one it ain't good okay am I being too harsh tell me down below I mean how am I supposed to help sell your stuff maniology if you don't give me polishes that are opaque I mean you can say they're opaque but I'm not going to lie and sit here and tell you guys that something's fantastic when it's not these colors are beautiful and they are fantastic and so are these plates but um, I don't consider this a stamping polish yes it stamps but um, not that great so you can't always count on me being honest about things okay all right um snarky guy lean will leave now and we'll check out some fun stuff here at the end dog baby whatever so just a little look at the stamping polishes that I have that are maniology that do stamp fantastic this one does the metallic does I mean even the jelly does um, a yellow that actually is fabulous teepee tipping um, that one sucks that one sucks these are all great that one sucked these are good these are good these are good this is good this is good 
these are all good. There's, there's so many that are great. So I know they can do it. <laughs> I know they can. As soon as they cross her boundary, she's going to be down for it. Just staying right along her boundary. I think she's just like, um, I'm not supposed to be that close to the road. But that rooster, <laughs> over you, get out of my yard, turkeys. Is that a rooster? Is that a rooster is out there in my yard? Oh, I'm gonna get you too, rooster. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo.